Hello and welcome to this special GM debate edition of Question Time on location at the Magna Carta School in Staines upon Thames. Okay, so opening our debate today, we have Vicky and Matt. Hello. Hello. Uh, from the supermarket chain supporting the use of genetically modified foods. Good morning. We are the Tesco representatives here to discuss a controversial subject regarding the genetic in engineering within the better carotene in golden rice. We believe that the health of our customers is more important, <laughs> is more valuable than the um, views of other others who believe. The, this product should not be sold due to not being organic. This certain product is designed to last longer so that it is able to be sold in countries over a certain distance without becoming out of date. In response to this, it then means that there is less waste to pollute the land as the expiration date will be far greater. The, com the component included in this is better carotene, which also supplies vitamin A to its consumer. This is made to add nutrients to someone's diet and reducing the risk of blindness and malnourishment. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Matt and Vicky, representing the supermarkets there from Tesco. Now we have representing the Soil Association, Lewis, Razak, Naomi, and Hannah arguing against the use of genetically modified foods. We are the Organic Soil Association and we are here to prove that better carotene is a disadvantage. People in developing countries receive enough vitamin A in their diets because of their economic status, able to afford food types like cheese and eggs, whereas lower economically developed countries, LEDCs, do not receive substantial food like these because they cannot afford to include this in their everyday diet. High doses of vitamin A could be harmful to people not used to a rich diet, particularly in pregnancy. GM foods can affect other organic foods in the area which can cause mutations which can cause illnesses to people. Herbicide resistant pods could also affect weeds, which could also make weeds more resistant to weed killers, which they're harder to kill. Excellent, thank you very much Lewis, Razak, Naomi, Hannah. Okay, now please uh, welcome, representing the scientific community, uh, Dr. Ricky and Dr. Quinn. Genetically modified food is the best way to move on from people getting illness, and it supplies extra vitamin A to keep people's lifestyles healthy. It's cheaper to genetically modify rice rather than grow unmodified ones, and it's suitable for vegans and is not affected by animal disease. Genetically modified foods allow crops to be sprayed with weed killer and have no effect. Some GM foods have been genetically engineered to last longer before they go soft and decay. This means they last longer on the supermarket shelves, so there is less waste. Dr. Ricky and Dr. Quinn supporting the argument for genetically modified foods. Okay, now I'm very pleased to welcome Nat and Jake representing Greenpeace, arguing against the use of genetically modified foods. Hello, we are, green, we are here to represent Greenpeace and support the argument against genetically modified foods such as golden rice. We are going to mention how the foods may be genetically engineered, so they would not produce fertile seeds. Also, the foods are very expensive for the third world countries that they can't afford. Thank you very much, uh, Jake Greenpeace. And rounding off our debate here tonight at the Magna Carta School in Staines-upon-Thames, we have some esteemed politicians. We have the MP for Chorley South, Lawrence. We have the MP for South Kettering, Abbey. And we have the MP for ross on Y, Jack. Some GMO foods are better flavour and less, less waste and more profit. And for a better diet, also... They may be more expensive, but you're paying for a better quality. It's not affected by animal diseases. It's also a more reliable source. It seems that emotion is putting people off rather than fact. As the naysayers use aggression and fear, the GM food uses fact and nothing but positive results. I believe we should follow the fact and not the fiction for better health and a better economy. Ooh. Get in there. Excellent work. Thank you very much, politicians. 
thank you very much to all our groups who argued for and against the use of genetically modified food. Clearly, food for thought there. This has been Question Time at Stains-upon-Thames, the Magna Carta School. Thank you and good night. Anyway. <laughs>